Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another adventure, right? Happy Monday of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Um, pretty impressive, okay? Pretty impressive. Um, I, I, I think I, I, I speak for everybody uh, in the live webinar and anybody who's been trading for a very, very long time. Um, I, I, I think I can honestly say today was probably the biggest uh, two-sided value you could probably want um, from market structure. Okay. Um, you know, we've been talking about, you know, having one eye, you know, really, really concentrating, um, on this massive rug pull, right? Uh, it was evident. It, it was inevitable. Um, the only question was when, and it's not one of those scenarios that you keep on saying every single day, today's the day, today's the day, today's the day. Um, uh, but you always, you know, you kind of needed to, to have it right, right next to you. You kind of had to ha have the theory that it could happen at any point. And you know, once you started seeing today, um, incredibly aggressive moves up again, you know, on the gap up, you know, Tesla went to like 1800 today. Um, you know, th there weren't just buyers today of like 2000. Somebody bought, I think somebody bought like the 2500 weeklies. It was just like, you just sat to yourself and you say to yourself, like, what the hell are these people smoking? And the most amazing part about it is, you sit there, you know, every single day and you say, well, it can't go higher. It can't go higher. But that's not where the problem is. The market has demonstrated it can go higher. Uh, the stocks have demonstrated uh, that they could completely eliminate uh, every normal course of action, especially names like um, Tesla, Amazon, uh, Netflix, correct? Uh, Netflix, uh, everything, all of these stocks, um, Apple, um, Alibaba, NVIDIA. And the one thing that I kept on saying, especially for the last couple of days, I, I want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, especially in last night's video. We kept on reiterating the point that I still wanted to participate in this aggression. But again, I wanted to really reiterate the point harder that the value to the upside, at least for me, uh, was not in Tesla, was not on Amazon, was not on Netflix. Again, if you could just go back to the video yesterday, I wanted to see specific names that didn't explode yet, or at least that they exploded were coming out of intermediate channels. Uh, you know, names like Shop, we talked about this on the video last night. You know, smaller names like NETE, uh, sp names like Space, right? We talked about this last night. Uh, Maxim, you know, got taken over today. Obviously, couldn't do anything there. But the key to, I, I think, today's uh, session was number one, that we were aware that. Again, gravity was real, just a matter of time. And again, if you got caught in it today, I, I, I feel horrible, right? I feel uh, horrible for anybody who, who didn't look at the signs or continued to trade uh, with the market with rose-colored glasses. But unfortunately, if nobody ever tells you this, if nobody ever sits you down and say, hey, this is going to end, this is going to end incredibly aggressively. And again, it doesn't mean that this was the top of the market. It just means that if you got long at any point today, okay, and didn't honor your stops, unfortunately, you're having an incredibly rough day. And the, this is, this is, I mean, all roads, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this almost 21 years, all roads really led up to today. We were prepared, man. We were really so prepared, uh, not only for the stocks that had really good value to the upside today, and we'll go into individual pivots. We, we saw this coming today. You saw it. You started seeing... Uh, the first lower high being put in on Tesla on the 60 minute. You saw the first 60 minute view, just the first crack here on Amazon. And we haven't seen stuff like this in a very, very long time. And then once you started seeing really aggressive weakness, especially in the morning, names like Zoom, uh, names like Beyond, you know, Boeing had a, a really, really aggressive pull in the morning and then had a pretty good pivot uh, to the upside, which I actually caught for a little bit of cash flow towards the afternoon, but you kind of saw it coming, you know, you, you really did. And the most amazing part of what we saw here today, this is not even a fly. And again, I, I want to kind of say this the most sympathetic way of, of all. Again, if you did get caught in this, again, it's, it's not meant to 
it's, it's not one of those, I, I told you so scenarios, nothing to do with that. Again, I, I'm a trader like everybody else. So I've been in your shoes just like everybody else. So I, I, I definitely sympathize if you got caught in this because it, it happened to me so many times, uh, not in the last 10, 12 years, but it's, prior to that, it's, it's, I've gotten caught in moves, especially uh, during the internet craze when, it, when the, bubble, the bubble finally popped. But when you actually look at what happened today, okay, the craziest part about the sell-off was towards the end of the day, and again, this is a 4% reversal, okay, intraday on the NASDAQ composite. The craziest part about what we saw today, this is just a, a fly on the elephant's ass. Just, I, I, I want to really reiterate this point here. The NASDAQ composite has gone from 164 to 270 since March, okay? This is, if you look at the, and again, look at the, just the final scoreboard, okay? It's not like the NASDAQ composite was down, you know, not, not like the Qs were down 15, 20 points today. Qs were only down five. And I know it sounds crazy. The NASDAQ composite was down 225 points. The most, the most important part from this is just from speaking from the technical point of view, we closed, this is the first time we closed below the five-day moving average since uh, June the 24th. What happened after the June the 24th is we went to the next support, which started a cycle of selling. Again, not, a, not that aggressive, but started a cycle of selling from 240, let's just call it 249, and three days later went from 237. So you're talking about 12 points on the queues. So if you believe the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, this is the first close below the five-day moving average we had. Now, if we start aggressively confirming today's price action, you already know your measured potential. Your measured potential is 249. The good news is for the bulls, again, we, we, we don't talk about Armageddon scenarios. This isn't, you know, this isn't one of those end of the world scenarios. We're just talking about what happens next. Again, it, it, it makes me feel no better or no worse if I'm right or wrong. Again, every single day, we try to take it day by day and try, try to win that interval. So if we can start confirming this whole price action here, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six days, right? Six days of buying, the last six days, and we start engulfing that tomorrow, then you have a legitimate, you have a, a legitimate shot getting down to this 249 area on the queues tomorrow. Any close below, the, below this rising support, if, and it, again, if you've noticed, we have not closed below the rising support, okay, since all the way down to here, which was 189 on the queues. This was January, February, March of the March 31st, right? That was the first time we closed below below support, and the next day we gapped down another eight, nine points in the queues. So again, nobody's saying this is gonna be the end of the world tomorrow. Nobody's even, even saying this is gonna be the end of the world, period. All we're saying from strictly from a point of view on the technical side, if this whole channel breaks, we are going to test this 249. If 249 breaks, then this will be the first close tomorrow. And again, I don't wanna put the cart in front of the horse. Again, what we try to do every single day is just put ourselves in a position that we're ready for, right? Just the same way we were ready for that reversal today. Uh, just the same, we identified that we didn't want to buy overextended names today. That's why, you know, I wasn't looking at the apples of the world. I wasn't looking at the Amazons of the world. I sure as hell wasn't looking uh, for the Teslas of the world. We just wanted to make sure that everybody was ready for what potentially could come. Uh, retail got way too excited, way too color, uh, too comfortable. And, the, and, and what reality happened was what everybody thought it could never happen. The same way I turned around in 2000 and said, this is never going to end, right? This is just never going to end. And again, is this going to be the day that finally reverses the market back down? Who knows? Who cares? All right. It's not a point of, is this the top of the market? Nobody cares about that, okay? Again, all we're trying to do is to get ready and prepare ourselves what potentially could happen next. And any time that you have a day that, in, in number one, puts this in ridiculous cartoonish-like reversal, 4% from top to bottom, and it starts engulfing four or five days, okay? If this area confirms tomorrow, it's, it's done. So if, if you're a new trader tomorrow, and we do gap up, right? And again, there's always a chance we gap up. If we gap up tomorrow, okay, the last thing you want to do is buy anything because there's a very, very ag aggressive shot. When I mean buy anything, I'm talking about in the beta world. If, there, if you're buying stock tomorrow, okay, and you don't understand the really big moving parts of supply and demand, and that's what the whole PS60 theory is all about, 
there's a good chance if you're if you're unaware or you're just not trading long enough you will be buying stocks into supply if you do they will get rejected so quickly and if we start confirming price action for tomorrow it's over right it's over you're gonna get a, an incredibly aggressive uh, you know kill shot I mean I, I, that's the best way of saying because again the craziest part about it is these stocks are not even oversold okay Tesla I mean ridiculous Tesla's not even on the five-day moving average okay the five-day moving average is what 1438 okay it's not even it's not even at the five day yet if you look at Amazon right if you look at the Amazon Amazon on the close reclaimed the five-day but look how much room you still have to the day you still have 140 points to the downside so if you look if you go through all these charts and I really really encourage everybody to do so tonight okay you will notice that this is literally the top of the first inning of what potentially could happen in the foreseeable future especially uh especially if states start to close again because again you think you saw fifteen thousand new cases uh yesterday overnight in florida crazy stuff so the moral of the story is again i'm not trying to you know scare anybody especially perma bulls I just want you to be in a position that you're smart, that you're possibly protecting yourself for tomorrow. I know what the ramifications are if we confirm uh, today's price actions tomorrow. The last thing you want to do is wake up tomorrow, uh, listen to what I'm saying, and then all of a sudden say, who cares? Bull market, nothing, else, you know, nothing wrong will happen. Buy the dip. Again, guys, remember, buy the dip only works in channels when they're going from bottom to top. It never works when you're going from top to bottom, especially after this magnificent, okay, absolutely magnificent, game-changing. A lot of accounts did incredibly well just in the last quarter. And again, guys, the last thing you want to do is find yourself giving back your whole year in one or two days. So again, very, very important day tomorrow. Uh, if we do gap down, obviously the initial value will be to the upside just for kind of a, a measured bounce. But if we start confirming those 10 o'clock channels tomorrow, uh, I will be 100% uh, sell bias. So uh, let's talk about today. Um, I mean, ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And again, if you look at if you look at the longs today, okay, you 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 won't see, for the exception of Roku, because Roku again, even though it was had a big big move, it still had a lot of room. You start, you know, especially with, with a market, a euphoric market. So that was that and Netflix were the only two two names out there. If you look at everything else that I put in the channel, there were all ch stocks that either were consolidating off the bottom of the range or just resting after a big run. So uh, space, I, I caught a nice trade on space. Uh, rejected twice, uh, 20, uh, $20 needs to build. Uh, space had a really nice move, um, really, really nice move. Again, space confirmed, went all the way up to 21. I mean, really, really nice move there. Uh, Roku, uh, 160, 80. And the most ironic part, I said, I said, forget about the 160, 80, 161. Look at 158. There was a, there was a sneaky pivot there. Uh, if, it, if it builds, it can go. So not only did it build, obviously, 158, it confirmed 161, and Roku went nuts. I mean, Roku really, really had a big move. So here is the 158, right? Here is the 158, this little mini channel here. 158 took out the 161, went all the way up to 166. Really, really aggressive move there. Um, Boeing, you know, we, I caught Boeing, not, not a bad trade on Boeing, uh, caught a little cash flow in the afternoon, uh, 181, 75, 82. Again, we talked about, uh, Boeing yesterday on the video. Again, not that I loved it, that I needed to get into it, but that's kind of where the value was. So we talked about, you know, we talked about this channel here, right? So I wanted to see, Hey, listen, you know, again, I don't want to chase Amazon up 900 points in three days. I don't want to chase up Tesla. Let's look where the value is. So, uh, we got long here, right? Got long here. Uh, it went to the next supply zone. I just took it for a scalp. It ran up about $1.50, $1.60, but I took it for a scalp. Again, it's kind of padding, padding the day towards uh, towards the end. This is before the Tesla pull. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, NETE just went bananas. Uh, $13.75, 14 If you caught this, I didn't. Um, I missed this thing. Uh, NET, we talked about that 14 level. Look what this damn thing did. I mean, look what it did. It just went just bananas. So here is the 1385, 14. All it did was went to 20. If you caught this thing, God bless. Um, I'm very jealous of you because I didn't. Uh, Roku again went nuts. Uh, RVLV uh, didn't get to that 18 level. And again, here's a reason again why I put, uh, <coughs> excuse me, why I put Netflix, um, Facebook. It, again, if you look at the daily chart on, on Facebook, again, it didn't have that monster you know, it really didn't have that monster breakaway, you know, Barry Sanders type of effect. So here is the two levels I talked about. 
uh, 47.65. I said there's a shot he could get to 50. The reason why the upper Bollinger Band here was uh, again here was um, here 47.65 needs to build. There's a supply zone at 48.10. Just to be a little bit tricky. If it confirms 48.20, 48.30, you can see 250 and look where the high for uh, t um, Facebook was 250.15. So big move, move there uh, as well. Um, I caught shop. I you know I, I caught shop. The only shop just picked the wrong day. Okay, it really picked the wrong day to break out so I get long shop um, I get long shop at the 1060 was a breakout I get long shop a little under um, 1062 it goes to like 10 it goes to like 1070 initially um, so I sold I, I literally sold 90 95 percent of my position the only reason why I started seeing Amazon I started seeing um, Tesla getting starting you know getting heavy so unfortunately for shop it just picked the wrong day to break out because again it got pulled with everything else uh, but 1060 you know again nice move on shop it was a pretty good you know pretty decent scalp um, you know 1060 went to a 1075 and obviously again it got pulled with everything else so again we read it you know we, we read it really well uh, 568 second entry on Netflix one point max uh, pain Netflix again also had a pretty big move here uh, off this um, off this 568 level. Here is 568. Uh, ran up about seven eight dollars again. Obviously got pulled uh, right after that. But this is where you know this is where things got really really aggressive. And again I, I can't I can't tell you how many emails I got, I got between 2:30. I'm still getting them. I'm literally still getting them. Um, just amazing. What happened next? Uh, was exactly what we talk about. So this is going nuts. This is going nuts. Um, you know, we had the 1150s coming in here. This was going nuts. Shop was really, really good. But this is kind of what we talked about. So strong action here in the morning. But then things got really, really aggressive. And this is where we talk about experience will always beat out luck. You can get lucky once. You can get lucky twice. You could chase things and you know, make some money. But again, at the end of the day, Repetition, uh, experience, screen time, it's always going to lead out. Uh, Tesla experience traders only. Again, certain trades are just not for everybody. Um, 1705 is rising 60 minute support. This is where the big area of Tesla's crack was. If it builds below, it can flush. Again, new traders, it was not no traders. New traders uh, don't even look at it. So 1705, here is the first crack, right? So here was 1705. Okay, this is the last channel in rising support. So 1705 cracked and it went down to like 1639, right? It went to, into support. So already you had a 60, 70 point crack. Okay, and this is where it got really, really aggressive. Okay, really, really aggressive. We'll talk about, you know, we'll talk about Amazon, Netflix, everything got destroyed. Like, like everything got destroyed here. So if you look up here, I kind of tested it out here and I said, look, under 1638 on Tesla, can see 1616, can see 1580. I wasn't even putting 1540, 15, you know, 1500. These are the areas that were really going to need to be tested. So it takes out 1638 and it just, I personally, I mean, for all you guys in, in, in the webinar, you kind of know, I'm never, I'm never, emo I'm never playing the emotional card. You heard me screaming today like 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 a pig was getting roasted i i i personally haven't seen a candle like that um it took me a half hour 40 minutes to really process uh what was happening i mean this was just an just absolute amazing move uh congratulations i know a lot of you guys did incredibly well with this thing but if you thought uh if you thought you know tesla was good you know look at amazon 32.59 if it builds below it can flush um Right, so here was 32, here was the 32, uh, here, excuse me, 32, where the hell was it? 32, here, 32.29, it just, 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 I mean, 100, 100, what, 130 points? Um, ridiculous. Uh, Netflix, 559, 556, big areas. If it, if it builds below, it can flush. Here was Netflix, uh, right? So here was Netflix, here was the two area, 559 and 556. It went down to 320s. Oh, crazy. Just absolutely amazing moves. Um, just amazing moves. Just absolutely amazing moves. Uh, Tesla went red and then it got absolutely hammered. So uh, I know a lot of you guys uh, did incredibly well. Um, I, I think the, the key right now, and again, nobody's ever telling you you shouldn't be happy, you shouldn't celebrate. But, but again, 
the mindset of a professional trader is, you know, sit back, kind of process what happened. And the most important part, again, and I know a lot of you guys did catch these things incredibly well, just forget about it. Tomorrow is a new day. You have to get refocused, okay? Forget about what happened today. You're a professional trader. You're supposed to be in a position of strength. You're supposed to be playing to win instead of playing not to lose. This is gonna come over in time, but for now, clear your head, okay? We have a very, very specific game plan uh, for tomorrow, obviously. Please get the morning strategy early. Uh, we have a lot of things to, you know, it, it's, not, it's not brain surgery for tomorrow. It really is not. Uh, I want to see a couple of things happen. I would love to see a gap up tomorrow uh, in the market. You don't need to be very creative. Take your favorite names that had big, big runs. And all you need to do is watch for 10 o'clock confirmation. Do not anticipate. Do not try to predict. Just try to sit there patiently like an intelligent, responsible adult. And usually good things are going to happen. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.